Okay, this is part two. This is how to keep your cash safe, um, literally as cash. Um, watch the first video because it'll give you some ideas that cross over into this. Um, first thing is, don't carry your wallet on your, in your back uh, back pocket. Very easy to get stolen. Um, even I've had it pickpocketed on my front pocket. It was actually zipped, so be very aware that pickpockets are pretty pretty good if they want to get it they'll get it but limit the um, accessibility for them make it hard for them uh, which gets on to my next point about the quite easy to steal uh, is only keep one or two days cash in your wallet and take the rest of your money and split it up some of this is like where I'll keep some in my top pocket for like restaurants because, you know small amount there um, I'll keep money in my other pockets on my front pockets and I'll keep some on my leg pockets you know so I've got my hand pockets on my trousers then I got my uh, pockets on my cargo jeans or shorts whatever um, and I'll be a little bit in my wallet but generally I spread my money around so you can't if anything gets robbed you're still only gonna you you're only gonna lose like one fifth or whatever because you got money elsewhere on you if you're wearing a money belt because I know some people do use money belts don't use it as a wallet it's it's your you it's your bank vault you don't let people see it in public always have your money that you're going to be spending separate to that you know if you're wearing a money belt you don't want people knowing you've got it hidden away um you know you, if you've got a money belt ideally it's an under clothes one where people can actually see you physically got it on you um if you've got one of those little bum bag ones that people wear in the front i do not recommend those at all um very easy to uh get robbed with one of those uh, but also, like I said, if you're opening it, people can see the amount of money you've got. You're just drawing attention to yourself. Uh, the other thing is you can... What, what I've got, I haven't got it here, is I have this little leather bag, which is big enough for my phone, my uh, wallet, money, even the camera fits in it. But because it swings round over my shoulder into my front, it's very difficult for anybody to steal it because it's physically in front of me all the time. Um, it, it's not hung over my shoulder to my side. It's actually dragged to the front. Those bags are pretty good. Um, very hard for people to grab everything. But it doesn't mean keep everything in it because if you get a uh, armed robbery, they're going to take it. So you really need to keep money in your pockets and everything else like we've discussed before about separating your cash off but a bag on the front is less likely to um, be stolen by a pickpocket um, one of the other things I've got is inside jackets and that you'll have some hidden pockets especially on the weatherproof ones you know they have those little hidden zip pockets all over the place they're ideal for keeping emergency cash. Um, they're good for hiding money in. They're difficult to for somebody to pickpocket because they're normally at funny angles. You know, they, they'd have to be pretty close to you to get into them. Um, but they're good for separating cash off. So when you're buying clothing, look around for clothes that have these extra hidden pockets or pockets in rather obscure places. Because I've even got, got one where they... The back of the jacket is actually got a very large pocket that goes around a big zip one. Um, not sure why it's there. Maybe it's for orienteering, where they put a map in the back. But it's not. It's not ideal for something you use all the time. But you can stash stuff in there because you don't. You wouldn't even think there was a pocket there. Um, don't make a scene when you get your money out either. Because I've seen this before where people pull out a water cash. Um, all you're doing is drawing unnecessary attention. Uh, you may be fine in that shop there, but you don't know who's watching you. So if you're spending money, what I do is I don't have an elastic band, but I just put off what I, what I need uh, if I've got a, a bundle of cash. And it doesn't leave my pocket. I just 
pull it out of inside my pocket I'll just draw the notes off inside my pocket so it, it's not obvious how much money I've got on me always put your notes with the biggest bills on the inside um, it look, makes the money look like there's less there it, you know if you had a stash of a hundreds you know dollars or whatever and then you got your what you could have all these as ones and then these are all hundreds people see a bundle of hundreds but if they're all stacked as ones because you've done it the other way around it draws less attention um, this is very similar about this for shopping use a familiar bag this is why I was saying I put my hand in my pocket I can pull the cash out exactly what I need just by flicking it um, because I know what notes I have in my pocket without looking familiar bags are exactly the same because you can open it you know where everything is you're not pulling things out where people can see you got a mobile phone your car keys your you know what what money you just flick there maybe you got some cash separated in there so you can just take out what you need very quickly without anybody actually seeing what you're doing always be aware of your surroundings as well for example like I said on the other video when I go to the market area, I don't wear my rings, I don't wear my uh, watch, um, I only take the money I need, um, so I limit the, my risk. In a nice restaurant, not the same uh, risk, so be smartly dressed, watch, ring, um, and extra money because I love for leaving a tip. So adapt to your surroundings, be aware of where you are and the people around you not everybody's your best buddy not everybody's an enemy because you don't know them so just be aware because you don't know these people that you adapt to what you're seeing if it looks like a poor area and doesn't look very safe then act responsibly email yourself essential information this one's important if you get anything stolen, but it's also useful for uh, things like bank cards and uh, your passport copy, driving license copy, copies of your bank cards and stuff, but encrypt it so that it's not easy for anybody to access. But if you have that there, it's an emergency archive because people want to know who you are. If you have your ID stolen, do you have a copy of your other ID? Most people go no, and then it becomes very difficult to get the ID sorted. But if you turn up with your photocopies, you got a bit more uh, leeway. Don't assume your bag's safe under a table as well. You, you see a lot of people will put it under it or on the, even on the back. Even underneath, people can grab it with their feet. And also you get distracted. You go to the toilet or something, you leave your, your uh, bag under there. Um, generally, well, generally my wife keeps my bag when I'm in a restaurant or whatever, but just be aware that you shouldn't really let anything out of your touch. You should always be holding it somewhere just in case, um, especially in an unfamiliar area because the person who robs you is not going to be unfamiliar. They're going to know exactly what they're doing. They're going to be aware of where your weaknesses are because they do it all day long. They know how to pick people up, um, pick people out of the crowd um, to rob them. Um, and it's, you got to remember they do it to locals as well as foreigners. But a foreigner is a much softer target. But if they can do it to locals that are familiar with the area, then you're a much higher risk so just be aware of it all right thanks for watching